Welcome to Informatica support video. This is Shobha. Today I am going to demonstrate on how to read JSON data and load to a relational table using data processor in PowerCenter 9.6. The agenda for the video. Starting from PowerCenter 9.6.0, you can use a wizard to create an auto-generated data processor transformation with input and output formats such as COBOL, ASN1, relational or JSON data. For these formats, you will need to have a specification file like an example file or copybook that defines the expected structure for the input or output. The wizard creates a transformation solution according to the formats selected and the specification file. The transformation might not be complete but it contains components that you can connect and customize to complete the transformation definition. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to use this wizard in order to read a JSON file and load to a relational table. The JSON input that I will be using is this. So this is an example input file that can be found in the W3Schools website. So we have an employees array with the values first name and last name. Now this data needs to be loaded onto the relational table JSON underscore target. This is an oracle table and as you can see it has no content as of now. It has two columns first name and last name which will be loaded from the JSON target sorry JSON source. Also when you create a data processor transformation with JSON input or output you select a JSON schema or sample file as the specification file. The schema or sample file defines the expected structure of the input or output data hierarchy. In this demonstration, I will be providing the JSON schema as the specification file. This is the JSON schema for the file that was shown earlier. Now uh, you can uh, use many online tools that are available to convert an input JSON into a schema. So I have used jsonschema.net. This is the input JSON. All you need to do is provide the input value, generate the schema. This is the schema. So this value or this schema needs to be entered or provided at the time of the DP creation. Now let's look at the creation of the data processor using the wizard option. So in the MRS project, select the transformation, transformation type as data processor, next. So these two options were introduced in 9.6.0. Prior to 9.6.0, you would be able to create only a blank data processor. This wizard option was not available. So I'll be choosing the wizard option. Input format, JSON. Here this is the specification file that I was talking about. So here you can provide the example or the JSON sample file or the JSON schema. Since I have the schema, I'll be providing the JSON schema. This is my JSON schema. Select the output format. So we need to load onto a relational table. Choose the relational data option. So the DP has been created and as you can see the wizard has provided you with the output ports, respective output ports which were defined based on the structure of the JSON schema. Now we will be using this data processor in our mapping. We are reading from the flat file, writing onto the relational table. the two ports first name and last name from the JSON data needs to be loaded to the table. Now we will run this mapping. So the mapping has run successfully. 
now let's just take a look at the SQL developer as you can see the first name and last name has been read from the JSON data and loaded onto the relational table the references for this video was the Informatica version 9.6.0 data transformation user guide to learn more about JSON please visit www.json.org to convert the JSON document to a JSON schema jsonschema.net website was used we would love to hear from you please write to us at supportvideos at informatica.com https twitter.com infosupport thank you